Hey guys, so today we're going to talk to you about how to use the hold and auto hold function on your meters. Um, most meters have some sort of data hold. Some of the Klein meters though have what's what we call auto hold. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use both of them. Right now I've got my meter hooked up. I'm in my outlet right here which is tied to this dimmer. Uh, and I'm going to vary the voltage and show you the difference between the two. So with the hold feature, hold is designed to capture that reading that you see on the screen. So you're taking your measurement, you've got the meter in front of you, you hit the hold button. So right here, you see hold pops up and it locks in the voltage at 106.8 volts. Now that's great if you have the capability to be able to press that button and hit the hold button. But what about if you're going to take a measurement in an area where you can't have both your hands full? You've got your hands with your leader or with your, your leads in it, but you can't really hold the meter at all. So in that type of situation, we would want to use auto hold. So I'm going to press our, our auto hold button again. You'll see that now auto hold turns on. Now the difference between this is now the meter is actually actively searching for a new signal and it's waiting to capture it. It's waiting to capture the most stable uh, signal that it can. So I'm going to go over to my test panel here and I'm going to vary the voltage by turning my dimmer down. When I turn it down you're going to notice the voltage is going to be captured at a lower rate and you'll hear an audible tone. So there you have it. It's basically telling you, hey, I just, I just captured a new voltage range or uh, voltage measurement and I'm giving you an audible tone to let you know. So for if you're in some sort of environment where you can't see the meter but you want to know that it's capturing and it's, it's recording uh, uh, new stable readings, the auto hold feature is really good for that.